In this video, let's take a look at how to use the vPro server and how to add instances. Now, there are some benefits to this. First, by moving your instruments out of your DAW and into the server, you're taking the load off the DAW. And then later in the series, you're going to see how we take that server project and move it over across to an external machine. So offloading the load of all those instruments onto an external slave machine. Also, vPro is more efficient in distributing the load across many cores compared to your regular DAW. Some DAWs are really just not good at that. For example, in Logic, sometimes you might just have a spark on one of the cores and it's really not a heavy project. Just it doesn't handle the distribution that well. And that's really where VP comes in handy. It distributes the loads way better than most DAWs, plus there's the added benefit that it takes the load off your DAW. So what you first need to do is open up VE Pro Server. When you're looking at the Viano Ensemble Pro application folder, you've got a couple of options here. These two are the standalone application. But what we want to use is the Viano Ensemble Pro Server. So you want to launch this. This is the server that's going to host the instruments. So this comes up with a blank interface of vPro. Now what you need to do is you need to create an instance. So I'll create a new instance. On this instance, the first track is the master bus. Then you can right click down here to add new instruments and plugins and effects. Now jumping back across to Logic, I want to take this string instrument here and replicate that on an instance in vPro. So this is the sound of the instrument. And if I open up the instance of Synchro Player, this is using this string patch over here and the staccato option. Now let's go back to Vienna Ensemble Pro and replicate this. So what you want to do is you want to leave the master bus because this is going to be the master volume control level for that whole instance. Then you need to add a plugin. Just right click on this panel over here to bring up this window. Just make sure you're not getting confused here. If you add an instrument, this is going to open up the Vienna instruments, which is a player for some of the other Vienna instruments. But for the Synchro player, what you actually need to do is you need to add a plugin. So I'll insert plugin and I'll navigate down to the plugin that I want to use, which is the Vienna Synchro player stereo version. As you can see, it's added the channel here with the instrument on. And then I can navigate to that same string patch. So that's these strings over here, and they're using the staccato patch. So, so far, that's all the same. Then I need to go across and create a new track in my DAW. This is the instrument track. I'm going to name this VP, so I know it's the VP track, not the logic track. And I'll call it strings arp1. So it's the same name, just with VP in front of it, so I don't get confused. I'll solo that so I can hear the two together. And more importantly, on your instrument track, you need to load up the Vienna Ensemble plugin. I'll just load up the stereo instance for now. So with this, it asks you to connect to an instance. Currently, it's not connected to anything. So if I click connect, you can see now I can connect to that instance. I'll click connect. And now when I play on my keyboard, it's triggering that instrument. I'm going to copy across this MIDI region and then go to my mixer and just match some of the settings. So looking here, this is panned to the left. The volume is down by minus four decibels. And then I've got two reverb sends set up. Reverb one and reverb two. And I'm just going to match that send level. So now more importantly, I want to show you something. This was the initial string patch with the synchro player on the instrument. And this is a track with the Vienna Ensemble Pro plugin connecting to an instance. So this instrument is hosted remotely out of the DAW. And just to show you what's actually happening, I'm just going to play back again and then jump across to vPro. 
As you can see, that's triggering that instrument. So this has removed the instrument from the DAW and it's now hosted in vPro. Now if I go and delete this track, that's removing the track from the project, so it's been removed from the DAW. And now this instrument is playing back the same part, but it's hosted in the server. So basically I've removed the load off my DAW with that instrument and hosted it in vPro. But seeing as this instrument is basically on the same machine, there's not really gonna be a huge performance difference right now. Now with these instances, I can also rename it. So this is going to be the strings instance. If I jump back across to Logic and open up the plugin again, you can see that this is now connected to strings. I can disconnect it and connect again and it'll show the correct naming convention over there. Now I can go in and create instances for each new track. So maybe make a new instance here for the other strings and so on. But the problem that you're gonna find is you're gonna have many instances here and it can get quite messy. For example, here I've created instances for each different instrument. But as you can see, it's quite messy. And if I were to add even more instruments, I'd have to scroll up and down here to see this. And just another thing to point out, I'm viewing the instances as a vertical list. By default, they actually set two tabs over here. And this looks even messier at the top with all the different instances. So I'd highly recommend just right-clicking here and switching the instances to the vertical list. But like I said, if you've got an instance for each instrument, it can get quite messy. The better way to do this is to have less instances with more instruments in. So you can build up multi-instrument instances. And these instruments are gonna be mapped to different MIDI ports, and then you can connect to these through your DAW. So in the next video, let's explore instances and working with multiple instruments and multi-timbral instruments.